Well, welcome to the Daily Wander. We find ourselves back out at Kramer's Field for yet another one of the trails today. Hopefully we're going to get out and go around Wander Lake today. We've had rain for about two weeks now, so this is one of the first opportunities we've had to get out and continue to explore the Kramer's Field Migratory Bird Refuge area. So come on along. We're going to head down the trail now. One of the main features here at Kramer's Field, of course, are the sandhill cranes. And you can see the sandhill cranes have come in there, and I don't know how many are out in the fields today, a couple hundred at least, but sometimes we'll see them fly off. A lot of times people basically just come to listen to them, which you can kind of hear them in the background there. But this is just a little two, maybe three week window we have. It's kind of one of our announcements that summer is leaving, our two or three week fall is coming and winters is closely nipping us on the heels. So the cranes are nice today. Things are fairly calm and again, oh, there's a couple hundred of them out there that we can probably see right now. But today we'll have cranes following us as we go take a look. Yet another trail out here at Kramer's Field. So to get to Wander Lake, basically I've, I've walked the farmhouse trail, which you can kind of see behind me here. And instead of going around the field this time, we're going to be going up and going through the trees here and going back to the Wander Lake area. Now the difference between the Wander Lake area is the Wander Lake is not actually owned and managed by Kramer's Field. It's in fact owned and managed by Wedgwood Manor, which is an apartment complex. Also works as a hotel, a lot of tourists come through, but they have seen fit to reclaim an old gravel pit and make it into what we now call Wander Lake. And they have a nice maintained trail that goes around the lake, but they actually keep going even in the winter. So nice place. Birds come through there too, not quite in the same fashion as, as Kramer's Field. But again, it's another little extension that you can do out here at the refuge, which gives you an ability to go around a lake, see a few different species, and if nothing else, to go around a lake instead of the fields. So we're gonna head on down this trail 
head through the trees and go around Wander Lake now. Now, as you can see, uh, Wedgwood Manor and the resort basically do have an entrance gate into the Wander Lake area. They consider this a refuge and the rules are a little bit different here than they are in Kramer's Field. Probably the biggest thing to notice is this is foot traffic only. They don't want people on bicycles, they don't want people skiing, they don't want dogs, they don't want any of that other stuff that people tend to bring in place like Kramer's Field. I think part of this is because they are still in the process of doing some reclamation with what used to be a gravel pit, but also they're just trying to keep this a little more friendly for humans only. So if you choose to go through and go into Wander Lake, just be aware there are some rules and probably the biggest one that affects a lot of people up here, no dogs, which means no dogs, which means no dogs. Now another nice feature that they've installed out here, and I guess just because I enjoy coming out and seeing the birds at various times of the year, and we can actually hear at this time the sandhill cranes flying overhead, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it, but you can actually hear this year's chick up there. They make a, a whistling sound versus the normal sandhill crane sound. But actually coming back over here to the sign, this is kind of nice if you're new to birding or you're seeing something and you just wonder. This is actually one of the best depictions that I know around Fairbanks. It gives you some pretty accurate pictures of the various birds you may or may not see out here. And at one point in time, we have pretty much seen every one of these species. I would say with the one exception of this one right here. I've never actually seen a belted kingfisher here, but we do see them in season around here. Kingfisher meaning they want to go down and get the fish. They tend to be up in branches, and I've seen them more on the various little rivers and sloughs than I've ever seen them out here at the lake. But everything else on the sign here, especially in the spring, if you come out at the right time, you're gonna, gonna see all of these guys at one point or another. A few of them are here year round, not very many actually on this sign. I don't see our friendly raven anywhere. But if our friendly raven was on this sign, he's one that you will see year round. Although our good friends right here, number seven, the mallards, we have a couple hundred of them that stay all winter long down on the Chena River, down river of the power plant because there's warm water and people come out and feed him. Not recommended. So as you can see behind me over here, this is Wander Lake. Wander Lake used to be an old gravel pit, but now they've reclaimed a lot of this. And so whether you go to the right on the trail, go to the left, that really doesn't matter. Either way, you're gonna swing back around here. So we're gonna, I guess in our case, go counterclockwise and continue on down the trail around Wander Lake. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, they've just done an outstanding job out here of putting up interpretive signs. And this one's kind of, well, this is just kind of an interesting one because you can't really read it. You're probably a little too far away though. I can kind of zoom in a little bit, but they're basically talking about the migration patterns of some of these species we see up here. So the swans, which we typically see in the spring, underneath that there's a Pacific loon, which we don't see a lot of Pacific loons in the interior of Alaska, but I have seen one and we'll see those out by the coast. But the lesser yellow legs that are down below there, that golden plover, which is just a treat to see, 
And then my actually favorite bird that I take pictures of is right down here. And these are these Arctic terns. And Arctic terns, well, they cover a little mileage every year, far more than I do in many of my vehicles, because they only do about 22,000 miles a year in their round trip migration from basically the Arctic, and then they just go down to the Antarctic zone, and then they come back the next year. So just amazing birds, amazing species. But actually everything on this plaque, we have seen it one time or another in the Fairbanks area. So again, wonderful day out here at Wander Lake. We couldn't ask for better weather just because, boy, it's been raining for about two weeks. And now we've got nice sunny blue skies. Temperature's probably somewhere around about 55, 60 now. It's just a beautiful day to be out walking around Wander Lake. And we're gonna continue up the trail here. We're about halfway around the lake. So come along, we'll keep on going from here. So, in one of my earlier videos, I mentioned Alaska fireweed, and we referred to it as the Alaska thermometer. And this is a piece of fireweed, and you can see, in this case, the blooms are all gone. Otherwise, we'd see the nice pink flowers, and all the seed pods are coming up. What does this really mean? Well, it means that the fireweed's gonna regenerate, because you can see the seeds kind of floating off there. But it also means for us, Summer's over. Means the fall's coming, which will be usually fairly short, two or three weeks. But then it also means that winter is coming back. And believe it or not, we do have winter here for a long, long time. So Alaska fireweed, gone to seed, which is kind of kind of a neat thing to see. So we're helping spread fireweed. Not that we need more, but we're gonna get a little more out of this one. Well, thanks for coming along on the Daily Wander today as we actually did a wander around Wander Lake, which is located just east of the Kramers Field Migratory Bird Refuge. Again, this refuge is maintained by Wedgwood Manor and Resorts, and they do have a few rules, so we would ask that you kind of keep those in mind, and the big one really is just the no dogs and no bikes. But a beautiful day today. I'm not sure how long that trail is, maybe a mile, mile and a half. By the time we get back to the bird refuge, we'll probably have a three, three and a half mile walk in us. But it's all level, it's all flat. Depending on the time of season, will depend on what kind of wildlife or bird you might find but another beautiful trail here in Fairbanks, Alaska. Again, thanks for coming along on the Daily Wander. I look forward to more videos in the future.